Good morning everyone, MMJ are back on the road. Right now they're on Valencia Street in Santa Mesa, Manila City. Uh, they're issuing a ticket to this car that's parked over here. And they're issuing a ticket to this motorcycle. You can see the young man on the back doesn't have a helmet. Over here they're issuing a ticket to this tricycle. You can see it's parked right next to the sign that says no parking both sides. And if you look here you'll see all the students are walking in the road. Why is that? Well, the sidewalk has been overtaken by these eateries. I'm not sure why they've been built on the sidewalk uh, because obviously they are businesses and unfortunately it does force everyone into the road. Unfortunately, this tricycle doesn't have a license plate and there's no driver, so they have no choice but to put it on the back of the tow truck. Over here you'll see more businesses that have been built on the sidewalk and they're self-demolishing their roofs that extend into the road. And if you look on the other side, same problem, the sidewalks disappear because people have built businesses here or extended their properties. So you'll see over here they're making them remove these extended roofs. Also, of course this kind of thing shouldn't really be built on the sidewalk in the first place. If you look over here, a little bit of clear sidewalk and then again someone's extended their business. Uh, this is like an internet cafe. Um, again, they want some extra space so they've just built onto the sidewalk. And over here you'll see they're cutting this tarpaulin. What happens is later in the day they'll extend that out and make the road into a mini eatery place. Same over here, they're asking them to dismantle this and to remove this tarpaulin. And you'll see they are confiscating those tarpaulins and putting them on the back of the truck. You would think with the school nearby and so many students around here, the barangay and city would prioritize keeping the sidewalks clear. Uh, but instead, they've basically allowed everyone to build on this, either by turning a blind eye to it or not doing any kind of enforcement. And you'll see further down the road, they're cutting down another tarpauling. Another interesting thing is they have a bunch of cones from the MMDA. Obviously, they're owned by the government, not by private people, so the team will be taking those along with them. Over here, you'll see they're taking down more tarpauling. There's a bunch of chairs and tables on the sidewalk. Also, of course, later in the day, they'll be out here in the road. Uh, more items over here that are about to go on the back of the truck. Uh, just across from here is the Barangay Hall. Uh, so it's impossible that they're not aware of this. I guess maybe they just turned a blind eye or maybe they didn't realize you're not allowed to build on the sidewalk. Uh, but either way, the MMDA are here and they're going to try and make things a little bit better, a little bit more organized. Some residents are choosing to take down their top awning before the team come. Of course, that way they get to keep it because if the team cuts it down, they'll be taking it on the back of the truck. Over here, you'll see a tiny piece of sidewalk remaining. But then once you get here, another eatery place that not only takes over the sidewalk, but also the road itself. Some of the residents have been asking the MMBA not to cut down their tarpauling. But the reality is if they don't cut it down later today, it will just be extended into the road and it will be business as usual. So uh, they have to be a little bit strict so they can actually get things under control. Uh, I don't know whether the barangay will maintain it, but for now the MMDA will try and do their best to get things in order. And for anyone curious, the MMDA are actually working on a complaint today. I'm not sure if it came from the presidential hotline, the 8888, or if it was direct to MMDA, but I know they are acting upon a complaint. The priority for the team today is really to clear anything that might obstruct the road and then advise the barangay themselves to clear the sidewalks. Uh, if not, the team might have to come back here. In fact, the owners of these ones said they will self-demolish. So I guess we'll see when the MMD return if any of this is uh, still here or not. And over here, they're cutting through this chain to try and remove this vending stool from the sidewalk using the butter reciprocating saw. There you go. Some people are now asking the leader of the team to bring some stuff off the truck and give it back. But he's explaining that once it's confiscated, that's really it, end of story. And uh, if they give one thing back, they have to give everything back. Over here, they're bringing down another shelf that extends onto the sidewalk for a business. If you look here, sidewalk, 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 and then someone's made like a wall here. Uh, so I think the team will be dismantling that so pedestrians can pass straight through. It's only a piece of GI sheet, so it should be pretty easy to remove. It's possible that some of these tarpaulings just go straight down instead of in the road. But the problem is when you start closing off the sidewalk with tarpauling, with walls and things like that, people stop using it and they start walking in the road. Uh, so they really want the sidewalk clear. It's a public space. Everyone should be able to use it. It should be open. Pedestrians should be able to safely pass through. And over here is a water station, but they have something that I've been hoping 7-Eleven or Mini Stop would get. A coin operated water refill station. You put your coins in here, you put your refillable bottle here, and you get drinking water. Instead of having to buy a plastic bottle all the time, this is so much better. So 5 peso if you want the bigger container filled. I'm not sure how much this one is, maybe it's only 1 or 2 peso. Very cool idea, I really hope one of the big ones like 7-Eleven or Mini Stop 
do something similar. And while the sidewalk clearing team have been busy down that side of the road, the enforcers up here have been issuing multiple tickets for coding, no helmet, things like that. Especially a lot of no helmets for the students, quite dangerous. The team just turned on to Ersetti and uh, it actually looks quite clear. According to the complaint, there's a lot of illegal parking here. But what I noticed is the MTPB already arrived here before the MMVA. So I don't know, perhaps I already ticketed the vehicles and sent them away or perhaps something else. And apparently this is also part of the complaint. Pedicabs fully occupying this area, uh, plus vending stores. And I don't know, maybe people are also living here. I noticed there's also a lot of empty alcohol bottles here. I'm not sure if that's part of the complaint. I don't know if people are drinking here or if they just collected them for recycling. Over here they use a reciprocating saw again to cut the chain off. Uh, they are going to be confiscating these. There's no drivers here. And you see they've already got one of them on the back of the truck. Uh, honestly, they need a bigger truck and they need a newer truck. Uh, this thing might look kind of okay, but actually it's pretty much falling apart. Uh, but they make do with what they have. Over here you'll see they're issuing a ticket to this pickup truck. Uh, this is meant to be a sidewalk, but once you get this far it's obstructed. So they're issuing the ticket and then asking to move the vehicle. Over here they're issuing a ticket for no helmet. You might think, but the guy is holding the helmet. And that's the problem. He was holding it or wearing it on his elbow instead of his head. So they're issuing the ticket now and then sending him on his way with the helmet on his head. And this over here is unfortunately quite common in Manila City. Burning trash, burning leaves. Uh, it's certainly not allowed. If you look over here, you'll see the sidewalk disappears. Uh, you can just see a little bit of it there. And you can still see the painted edge here. But the rest of it has been boxed in as a residential space. And same on the other side, <laughs> there's no more sidewalk, so everyone's walking in the road and hoping not to get hit by passing vehicles. You can see there's just a tiny, tiny bit of sidewalk here. Again over here, you can see a tiny remnant of the sidewalk. And then when you get this far, obviously someone needed some extra space, so just extend over it. Same over here, someone's extended their gate. I'm not sure why the barangay would allow this. You'd think that when they see people building this, they would say, hey, that's a sidewalk, you can't build there. Uh, but actually, well, it's Manila City. Uh, and over here, the team are issuing two more tickets. You can see there's a sign right there that says no parking tollway zone. They are red plates making them government vehicles, but they are still being ticketed. You can see he's holding the ticket there. And this motorcycle here was also ticketed for illegal parking. Uh, he's already got his ticket and he's leaving now. And over here, the towing crew are taking away this motorcycle. Uh, the rider was stopped for not wearing a helmet. And unfortunately, if it doesn't have a license or can't show a license, so it's going on the back of the tow truck. Over here, the team are asking uh, the residents here to remove their washing machine from the sidewalk and the rest of their obstructions. They asked the resident to remove this one from the sidewalk and he said, okay, later. And they said, either remove it now or the team will remove it and confiscate it. Because when people say later, uh, there is no later. Once you leave, that's it. It won't go anywhere. And I've never seen this before. A tricycle towing a van. Interesting. One of the riders has called for help on the radio. Apparently he's having a problem with someone. So uh, backup's on the way. So I'm a bit late to the party, but what happened was they stopped the gentleman riding this motorcycle without a helmet. When they asked for a license, he wasn't able to give one. So of course, if you're driving without a license, they're gonna impound the vehicle. Uh, he kept trying to drive away. So that's why they called for backup. And uh, it's now on the back of the tow truck. And over here, they stopped one more motorcycle. You can see a lady on the back, not wearing a helmet. And over here, they stopped one more motorcycle. Unfortunately, no helmet. He does have a license though, so that's good. This pedicab here was taken off the sidewalk. And then around five minutes later, some men came over and they were asking if they can get it back. They were actually offering a thousand peso. Incredible. Over here, they're issuing one more ticket uh, for unauthorized helmet. It's a firefighter's helmet, which is quite unusual. I've never seen someone wearing one of those while riding a motorcycle, but unfortunately, they do have to issue a ticket. And over here, one more motorcycle that's being impounded. I asked if the driver has a student permit, but apparently he really has nothing. No student permit or no driver's license. So that's why they impounded the motorcycle. And over here, one more motorcycle. You can see the gentleman's holding the helmet instead of wearing it. Unfortunately, that's a 1,500 peso mistake. This is a really cute doggy over here. I hope he's not locked up all day, every day. If you look up here, you'll see people using the train tracks. I think trains still go along here, but not very often. So they made their own DIY rollers and uh, they take students back and forth. Actually, I, I have mixed opinions on this. Obviously, there's some safety issues if the trains still use it, but it's also it's quite clever, to be honest. It's quite clever. The 
team are now here on Buendia Taft and while it's kind of messy you'll notice the vendors are also moving their stuff away they've had items confiscated here before for obstructing what should be the sidewalk and they're issuing a ticket to this uh, tricycle for illegal parking you can see it's parked here on this uh, pedestrian crossing and over here the vendors are also rolling their stores away uh, on this side here there's never been confiscation and I think that's why they don't really listen to the MMDA because if there's no confiscation, if there's no ticket, they don't really take you seriously. So it's been around five or ten minutes, you can see the vendors are gone, that makes it much easier for vehicles to pass through here. Uh, they've tidied up this area, so it shows it can be done. Now of course the reality is while it looks pretty good now, once the team leave, it will probably go back to normal. Uh, because at the local level, the barangay, the city, they don't care about vendors on the sidewalk or in the road, they just don't care. And when it comes to local enforcers managing uh, bus terminals, jeepney terminals, they're not very effective. Uh, sometimes they are, but a lot of the time they're not. So maybe the MMDA really just needs to assign a team here, maybe five people. Uh, another amazing thing is there's a pedestrian crossing here. And I've seen so many cars like honking at pedestrians just for trying to cross the road. Although, to be honest, they could probably do a repainting this because it is quite worn out.